Hello and welcome to another super exciting LEGO building review. Today I've got the Spider-Man's Spider-Crawler, you know, from uh, the hit TV series Spider-Crawler. Um, I don't really know what to say. I think this set is essentially just Spider-Man, not related to any film or TV series or anything in particular. Seems to come with a Spider-Man minifig, fine. Vulture, okay, why not? Sandman, yep, good villain. And then Spider-Man 2099. Who knows why? I I feel like they... Yeah, th that's like the weirdest choice of all. It can only be that they, they had a certain amount left. In fact, looking at this... This has got a slight vibe that it may not have originally been released in this country. It's just got that sort of non-European look to it. Let's get it out. All right, just three bags. That should be pretty easy. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll live build this. It's not very big, is it? It's just, yeah, well, it's not very big. Oh, that was quite a fun build, actually. You can, uh, you can see the full video of that. Um, next week I think when I release it so this is actually a pretty cool set it turns out I was a bit skeptical when I looked at the box earlier but on building it it's actually rather nice so we'll start we'll start basic with there's a there's a there's four minifigs in this which is obscene I don't know I don't know what the cost of this was has it got a price on it anywhere no but given the size of the box I'm assuming it's in one of those 20 to 30 quid brackets again i don't know if that's true but you get four minifigs and they're all pretty good so i'll start with sandman who's very interesting right because he's only the top half of the minifigs he's got the head the hair and the torso but instead of giving him legs he sits on this kind of sand pillar so it does look like he's half made of sand and it um it's just a really cool effect and they've given him this massive hammer which is really cool but he can't hold it properly without tipping over unless he holds it vertically, um, which does work. It, 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 it does look quite funny. And now, now it won't work. So there's that. And then he sits upon this little base station, um, which is annoying because as far as I can tell, there's no way to actually... Okay, so I thought there was no way to properly attach him to this. I tried forever when I was actually putting it together. And it turns out I was just doing it wrong. Now he attaches to it properly. And that's actually pretty cool. He sits on there. Inside this, you if you open it up, there's some little gems hidden, which goes along with this. I think the story is that there's a heist for these valuable jewelries. Uh, so there's Sandman. He's pretty cool. It's a good look. He's got two different faces. I've opted for the horrifying zombie face. So there's that. Now there's the vulture. The Vulture is a really cool minifig, actually. There's, the minifig itself, not got that much going on. It's basically just a green character with grey eyebrows and a bit of a chest piece put on. But they've given him these wings, which I think look really cool. I, I really like the way they look. Um, from the back or the front, they've got a, they look properly like wings. That's the thing. I, I know it sounds dumb, but they, they don't look like just metal things out the back. They look like they could, you know, shift. And well, they do. You can move these bits around a bit. Not a huge amount, obviously, but you can, you can change it up a bit. And then they're on these pivot points, so they they move a bit as well. So if you're, if you're going in for like doing pictures or whatever properly, you can have him all over the place. Like he's in hover mode there, and he comes with a gun that's pretty good. It shoots well. It shoots studs like all Lego guns, but it's. You don't often get them handheld, which is a nice thing. So there's that. The only trouble is that the backpack his wings attached to, it is so large that it, it does prohibit him from standing in a lot of configurations. Although he's actually fine there and the wings aren't actually touching the, the, the floor at all. So that's, that's not too bad. That's a good one. The most simple of them all is Spider-Man. And he's also the best one. He, he's just... It's a really good color scheme for Lego red and blue. They haven't, they've got two color legs, which makes it look good. The torso is really well painted and the eyes look great. And it's on the back as well. It's just, it's just a great Lego Spider-Man minifig. There's, 
there's not a lot more to say about it. It's just, it's really nice. Like if you, he'd go in my top five minifigs of which I don't, I don't know who's in them, but he'd be one of them. So I'll pop him in there and he stands up. And now the weirdest contender, the weirdest addition is this one. Take his web hands off. This is, uh, this is Spider-Man 2099. I don't know why he's in the set. Um, it almost seems to me like they wanted to give you uh, like an exclusive minifig for this set and they were like, Spider-Man 2099, why not? Because these ones could easily be included in other sets for whatever reason. Spider-Man, I assume he's in a whole bunch of them. And then, you know, Spider-Man 2099. It's, it's a cool look. The best part about him is probably the eyes again. It's, it's just an all dark blue suit, which he kind of is, so I, I get that. It's, it's not as good as this one, just because it's not as bright, but that's that's a design choice. It's still pretty cool. Uh, I'll have him there. And now, the, let's move these out of the way. This is the main bulk of the piece, I feel. But no, it clearly is. The, uh, what do they call it? The spider bot? Spider-Man's spider crawler. So I, I was going to put Spider-Man 2099 in it, but as, as they've already said, it's Spider-Man's. I'll put, I'll put Spider-Man in it. I feel it's very important, whenever you build a Lego vehicle, you should have a minifig sat in it, because it does make it look funnier. And if you, can, if you can get the controls into his hands, bonus points, but that's not possible, and I've just ripped it off. With some fiddling, that would work, actually. There we go. That'll do. Right, here we are. So this is the spider bot. Now, it's got a few pieces to it. The main thing is, it actually looks pretty cool. It's um, It's kind of a mix between, like, practical lego design kind of a bionicle look and then just sort of some rad stuff and when it moves all the legs move and they don't like all move as one it's it's a it's a pretty good design and it's it's on not really wheels but kind of wheels it's got like four little ones that will just stop it rubbing on the ground and then there's a rubber one which controls the mechanism and it's actually a really simple mechanism so if you if it um like if you were actually playing with it as a kid would and you like snap bits off or well, you, you know lego like they break off you can reassemble them it would be quite easy to do you wouldn't have to break out like the instructions particularly because it's you can very much see what it is and it's symmetrical as well so you'd have another side to look at that means all the, all the legs kind of move in a fairly fairly menacing yet cool fashion uh, you gotta make sure you got them bent the right way, and they're all—they're all actually pretty poseable. You can move them around a fair amount, um, to sort of however you want them to look. There you go. That's probably best to grab it by the back, and then you can shoot a web. It's not great. Not gonna lie. This—this this projectile is a bit heavy for this firing mechanism, but it works. Also, the eyes shoot out. Um, kind of a one-shot deal. For obvious reasons, that actually that actually fired through the Millennium Falcon, out the other side and went onto the floor, which that fi that fired over a meter, right? That's that's a long way, you know. That's that's some solid firing. The good thing is it fires studs, so it's fine. You can replace them. Bad thing is there's now studs on my floor. If you actually look at it face on as well, it's got a bit of a spidery face to it, but not enough to set my arachnophobia off, which was which was a a bonus to me. Yes, let's stick this in. Came with two options for the uh, for the firing mechanism up here. You could have a web, or you could have this. Uh, yours, mm, yeah, that tends to set itself off. I've noticed. There's a couple of different webs you can have as well, which, again, go back to the uh, the kind of Thor's lightning bolt and the Iron Man web shots to get sort of action webbing from. Uh, from Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2099. Um, they look okay. I think, again, they're one of those things where they're quite good for doing uh, like pictures and stuff, but practically speaking, they're not, they're not grand. But it's actually, overall, it's a really nice set. Um, all of it's pretty cool. I feel like this would be one of those things that would, you, you could quite easily just stick that to a wall and it would look quite good. Uh, if you just stuck it there. I mean, you can't see that, but... Trust me when I say it would look quite good. And for authenticity, I have just shoved it through a spider web as well. Um, I actually, I was, when I had the box of this, I was like, this doesn't look to be a great set. But on 
on further thought, it's actually just every piece of it is quite nice. Um, if any, uh, yeah, yeah, I actually like this one. It's quite cool. It gives you quite a few gems as well. Like there's the green one in there, gives you a blue one. There's a red and a and a yellow one in there, I think. I'm I'm hesitant to take this out because I I've only just got it on, uh, which is. Not like the Infinity War sets, where you have to buy five different sets and you get three gems between them. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just overall, this is a, this is a good one. This is a, this is what I would advise this one if you're if you're looking for a set to buy a kid. This is probably a good one to go for. There's a there's a nice amount of stuff in it and not too much building. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.